worldwide fan base, and fellas, I think she's done that. She's done that. Kelly looks seconds. fantastic. Sit it back in seconds, right? Impressive win. Final seconds. Katie Taylor says, bring it. She has brought it all night. Good job by Cindy Serrano to finish this fight professionally and on her feet. But she was up against a worldwide force and an undefeated world champion. Kudos to Cindy Serrano. Sugar Ray Leonard, if you're given a report card here, what would you what, what grade and what would your comments be on Katie Taylor's performance? Oh, uh, uh, without question, A. Hey. I, I noticed that at the press conference and at the weigh-in yesterday, Cindy Serrano came to survive. You know, she came, it seems like she came for the check, you know, I don't know what it is, me, you, you know, it, it's, she is a veteran. So it's not like she hasn't had big fights before or whatever, but she clearly lost this fight every single round. She was doing a lot of moving, but it just, for example, look, look here's the numbers. Look how many power punches. Not only landed, but thrown. Thrown to only 86 by Serrano. And normally Taylor doesn't out throw against her opponent. She'll outland. But that just shows you the, the disparity in the work where Serrano just had to be moving, jabbing, and getting out of the way of uh, a fighter. I, I, I just think that, you know, uh, Cindy could have did more. Also, you know... I, 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 I've, I've interviewed Katie twice. She's a humble chick, but she got some, she got some fire under her. You know, she was trying to showboat in there a little bit. She was getting a little frustrated with the uh, movement and everything. They're showing love, though, as they should. We're going to talk about some women's boxing, though, in a minute. Once they add it up, it shouldn't be too difficult in this case. Let's go into the ring and David Diamante. Didn't the, um, Katie be trying to play that sweet and innocent role? Ladies I'm not saying she's not. Ten rounds of action here in Boston. We go to the judges' score totals. All three judges, Alan Nace, John Madfis, and Steve Clark, scored this bout identically, 100 to 90. All for your winner, a unanimous decision. She's still undefeated and still the Unified Lightweight Champion of the World, Katie. Katie Taylor wins every round. That makes sense. And hopefully... Let's listen to a post-fight interview. It's going to be interesting to see who she fights next. Now, you know, here's what I've uh, learned is that we can't start talking about who the best woman boxer is in the world until we're able to have access to watching all of the women fighters in the world. So in regards to the televised women fighters, people say, well, Clarissa Shields, Michaela uh, Mayer, uh, Nicola um, Adams, uh, Jessica McCaskill, who fought Katie Taylor Laws, moved up. Now she's champion at 140. Amanda Serrano, you know, only women, only females, uh, 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 six division world champion. Only three six division world champions in boxing, period. Cindy just didn't have it tonight. Now, next week, I'm going to be in New York talking to um, Heather Hardy and uh, Shelly Vincent for their fight coming up. It's going to be on uh, HBO. Women's boxing is doing really, really good right now, and it's up to the women to keep the momentum and fight each other. For example, I think that Amanda Serrano, who is fighting in the um, MMA right now, and She's working her way up the ladder. All great mixed martial arts um, female fighters have to work their way up the ladder. They just don't start um, in the UFC. But uh, in the case of uh, Amanda Serrano, she's got that striking. You see what I'm saying? And a lot of female mixed martial artists are more of strikers, more tie and all that rather than wrestling. So she's got it. It's a huge upside for her in mixed martial arts. And I believe she's only uh, 30. Oh, they're about to start the main event. Uh, I, I, I want to go into more detail about women's boxing, but we can't because the main event is about to start. 
and I still got two more fights to cover. Three more fights. The uh, this uh, um, Andre. Uh, damn, he's coming to the ring. We're going to talk more about um, Katie Taylor, and I'm going to do a real in-depth uh, video on women's boxing when I do my um, Heather Hardy versus Shelly Vincent 2 fight week uh, preview, which I'm going to do on Monday. But I got to get to the main event. I'm Tishtree Controversy. This is Tishtree Controversy Live. Please subscribe.